In this presentation, I'm going to make a few suggestions um, and show some activities of how you could use a variety of products. Um, be sure to consult with an occupational, physical, or speech therapist um, in the manner that you're using these if you're unsure um, to make sure that they're safe for both you, your caregivers, and your child um, and using them appropriately. Also, um, be sure that there's not a point of overuse um, of the product. So this is the Can Do Exercise Ball. Um, it's more of a donut shape. It has um, a hole in the middle here. Um, so it gives it a little bit more stability because it's not a complete sphere. Um, so for kids that um, have some gravitational insecurity um, from a sensory standpoint, don't like their feet being up off the ground, um, this gives them a lower standpoint to where they may be able to load their feet a little bit better and keep those feet on the ground for stability. Um, so um, things that we can do on this ball um, include working on um, so the core and trunk rotation, which ball, balls give some, a dynamic surface for you to kind of facilitate that a little bit. Um, so any gentle rocking side to side, um, any bounce, gentle bouncing um, you can do on here. And, and just to create an activity out of it, um, you can place um, objects on both sides um, to work on some rotation. So we may be starting with one hand um, to get an object. You can work on transferring it, so giving it to the other hand and then placing it on the surface. Um, you can also work on crossing midlines so some of those coordination skills. So taking the opposite hand to reach across the body, pull it out, and then again back over. So that's kind of more crossing midline. So you can go high to low. You can also go low to high. So reaching over here to put something in higher. So I'm getting a full rotation to reach down and then all the way back up. Um, so that's just challenging my core a little bit because I'm moving my upper body while my lower body is staying still. Um, if you want to make it more challenging um, or if you're working on down to up, you can place something in front. Um, so we can reach down and the pegs give a little bit of a resistance too to come back up. So this is just kind of inverting the head a little bit. Um, some kids may have a difficult time with that and then coming back up um, to put in a bucket or something else up at the top. 